Just a few hours, 10 of the 20 Democratic presidential candidates will take the stage in Detroit for the next round of debates. And Laura Podesta reports the stakes couldn't be higher for some of the hopefuls looking to stand out. Michelle, tonight we can expect a mixture of candidates talking about their policy change ideas and attacking President Trump, who's recently come under fire for tweets involving those four Congresswomen of color and the city of Baltimore. The stage is set for the second Democratic debate. A field of 20 candidates will square off in two groups of 10. Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders headline tonight, and the two senators are expected to push their signature issues. Expanding a program that has been in existence for over 50 years, a program called Medicare. These giant multinational corporations, they're not patriotic. They have loyalty to exactly one thing, and that is the profitability of the bottom line. For some candidates, this will be the last debate opportunity if they don't boost fundraising and poll numbers. The lower tier candidates are not just getting not as much support, but also not as much consideration. Two men not on the stage in Detroit tonight will loom large as contenders look to rise above Democratic frontrunner Joe Biden and prove they're capable of beating President Trump. Somebody like Donald Trump should not be able to get within cheating distance of the Oval Office. Former Vice President Biden will be on stage tomorrow. Nearly every candidate took shots at Biden during the first debate. I was probably overly polite in uh, the way I didn't respond. The latest poll shows him well ahead of the rest of the Democratic hopefuls. I am watching. I think right now it will be Sleepy Joe. President Trump won Michigan by fewer than 11,000 votes in 2016. Now, there are a few new rules for this debate compared to the last debate in Miami. There will be no one-word answer questions. There will be no hand-raising answer questions. And if any candidates get out of line, CNN says it has the right to dock them time to answer their own questions. So if they interrupt one candidate too much, they themselves will be penalized.